Hi guys, in this video we're going to make Chloe the cat from The Secret Life of Pets. We're going to make her as a cake. Now I've got some four inch cakes and then I've got some a three inch little cake board that I've just stuck underneath. So it's a bit smaller than my cake but that's fine because we'll trim it down. I'm just resting it on another board for the time being and I'm going to buttercream between each of my layers of cake. So I've got four layers and I've left the top one untrimmed. Um, because I'm going to cut the whole thing to shape anyway, so I didn't need to level off that top one. So what I'm going to do is trim with a sharp knife, creating a curve where her back is, and then we'll take it forward a little bit at the front as well. I'm going to take a bit more off the back. Now, I tend to find my cake does crumble quite a lot when I'm cutting it, so I've put this in the freezer for 20 minutes to harden it a little bit, and I'm taking a little bit off the bottom bringing it so it meets that cake card that we stuck on underneath. So from the side you want this kind of shape, so the back is the bit that's got the main slope and then the front it sort of sticks out a bit nearer the top which is where her chest will be. And I'm going to cover the whole thing in buttercream. Now try and get it as smooth as you can. I'm not fantastic with buttercreaming so this is the bit that I find the hardest. Okay, and again, if you find your cake softening a little bit, just stick it in the freezer just for 10 minutes or so, just to firm it up. And I've got some white fondant, I've got ice wise for this particular one, and I'm going to cut a bit off and we're going to dye that to the colour. Now, I've used just a tiny bit of black with a tiny, tiny bit of blue to create the colour for Chloe. We're going to roll it out nice and thin, make sure it's plenty big enough to go over your cake. And I'm going to press that down gently with my hands, rubbing it down. Try and pull out the creases as you go down and give it a good firm press around the bottom and then we can trim off all that excess. Just keep pushing underneath. So I'm just sort of tucking the very bottom of the fondant underneath and then just make sure it's nice and smooth. So you'll see this curved bit is her back and that bit's the front. That bit's going to be the face. So we'll start by marking in where her eyes are going to be. If you find it easier, you can use a modelling tool or your fingers for this one because she's got quite large area where the eyes are going to go so it's not too delicate looking at the moment and then I'm going to press underneath sort of where her nose is going to be to create a slight shape for her head now she's quite a fat cat so we don't need too much detailing on the body and again we're just going to press some dints in around where her chest is going to be and her legs start quite low down so the chest is going to come quite far down on the cake and then we're also going to press in a little bit at the sides. Now that's going to be like the top of the thigh on her back leg, the chunky bit of her leg. If you need to just use a modelling tool to push that in a little bit deeper and do that on the other side as well. So again, just work on making sure the eyes are deep enough and then you're going to add a little pink triangle for the nose. Now apologies, I didn't realise that I'd switched the camera off when I made the nose. So all you're going to do is roll a little ball, make it into a triangle in the pink stick it in place and then I've just stuck a modelling tool up either side to make the nostrils and then again take another modelling tool or a cocktail stick just draw in just below the nose and the mouth and now I'm going to use some white Now I've actually got modelling paste for the eyes just because it's a little bit firmer but you can use fondant still and I've gone slightly oval with the shape for the eyes and I'm just sticking them in place with a tiny bit of water and I don't think you can see it too well on here, but I'm just putting a line halfway down each eye so I know where her eyelids are going to go. And I'm adding a little bit of water. And I've just rolled two small green circles for her eyes. And then a larger circle for the eyelid. And you're going to cut sort of two semicircles out of that. So the same kind of size as the eye. And then just stick each of those on the top of the eye. And we're going to stick some eyebrows on. So... I'm going for dark grey, so I've got a little bit of black that I've mixed with a little bit of her fur colour. And just roll two little snakes, keeping them nice and thin at one end. I'm going to stick that on for the eyebrow, and then you can run the modelling tool through it a little bit, creating little fur marks. And you're also going to do this all over the body. You'll see I get bored quite quickly, and I'll do one patch, and then I'll move on to something else. But by the end of it, we will have fur all over our body. So I've got two little black balls that are just going to go in the centre of her eyes. Again, just fondant I've stuck in. You can paint them in if you prefer. And I'm just using my modelling tool to just push a little bit deeper around the top of her leg at the back. And then we're going to paint a bit more detail on the eyes. So I'm starting with a party green and I've just diluted it with a tiny bit of water. And I'm just painting the green in those eyes a little bit deeper, concentrating on the very edge. And then if you want it even darker, go for a deeper green so I've got a bit of a spruce green that I'm just going on the very very edge of those eyes with 
and then you're going to finish off the eyes with a little white dot in each one. Now I've got some more of my black and I'm rolling a really really thin piece that's going to go on the underneath of her eye and then you can create the same long thin piece that's going to go along the edge of that eyelid and just trim off any extra off the end. Now if you didn't the, the face by accident when you're cutting that off don't worry because it will just look like a, a line of fur on this one and then I've rolled a two tiny tiny bits in black that we're going to stick on as little eyelashes for her if you can see that just pushing her mouth in just a little bit deeper and just using the bottom of my paintbrush for that and a little sausage shape of pink that's just going to push up into the mouth area and I only want a really tiny bit of it showing and we'll open it up a tiny bit in the middle if we can I'm just putting a tiny bit of black in that space that we just opened up in her mouth just push it about a little bit with your tool and now back to the grey that we've used for the rest of her body just roll it not too thin and cut two triangles and then we're also going to cut two triangles in pink so roll the pink much thinner than we have the grey and we're going to place these triangles inside the grey triangles just trim off any extra that's on the ends and then again I'm just using my modelling tool to sort of create a bit of a, a dint in the middle so the ears will curve around a little bit and I've put water on the bottom of each ear and then we're going to push those in place on her head. Again, you can use edible glue if you prefer instead of water, but I always find water works okay for me. So her ears are in place. So again, I've got one of my modelling tools and we're just going to add more lines for fur all the way around the body. So they're a little bit longer on the back than I've put them at the front, a little bit shorter around the face area and again, they get longer as they come further down her body. So now we're going to give her two little legs and I've rolled off two kind of triangle shaped bits for her legs and they're only tiny and I'm just going to push those in place just under where her chest comes to and you can put some more fur lines into those if you want. I've got two balls for the feet, I'm going to push them a little bit at the back to flatten them a tiny bit, push them against the bottom of each leg and then we're just going to draw in the, or push in the toes just using the knife. So similar for the back, only this time instead of circles, they're more teardrop shaped. Push those in front of the tops of the back of the leg. And again, push in place with a knife the toes. And I've got a bit more of my grey again, rolling a long cone shape. Make sure it's got a nice point at the end. And we're going to curve that round into a tail, trim it off, and just add some hairlines. Now the best bit, colouring her in, just using some edible dusts starting with a white that we're going to dust around her nose and her mouth and a tiny bit on the chest. Now if I don't want it to look as strong I'll just use a bigger brush so it's spread out a little bit more. If you want it deeper use a smaller brush. Now I've added a tiny bit of water to see if I could darken it a little bit. I'm not darkening but to make the colour a little bit stronger. And now I'm going to make a grey for painting her stripes on. So, because I think she's got a slightly blue tinge to her, so I've mixed black, white and a tiny bit of blue. And then we're going to dust these on. So these are just being dusted on as a dry dust, I haven't added water to these. And again, we'll do matching ones on a tail, so stripes all the way down that tail. And we don't need to stick the tail on just yet. Now that we've put the stripes on, we're going to use the same colour for sort of shading. So anywhere that the light wouldn't be catching is going to be a little bit darker and we're going to be painting that on, or brushing that on I should say. So the bottoms of the ears where the light wouldn't get to, just under her nose and her mouth. I'm going to do a rounder eyelids and a little bit on the actual eyelids themselves. Just be careful that you don't get it onto the whites of the eyes because it does stick and it's more difficult, it's quite difficult to get off. You'll probably see it's stuck all over my fingers. Now I'm going to create a little chicken bone out of modelling paste. Again you can use fondant but modelling paste is just a little bit firmer. Try and leave a, a ball at the end or a fatter bit at the end and roll thin the stalk and then I've just pushed the knife in the middle of that end a bit and then we're going to push that in place so it just comes out of the edge of her mouth. Now it's not too heavy so it should stick in place quite easily. Now I've got a board ready, so it's an 8 inch board that I've covered in white fondant ready to put around and I've just put a little bit of buttercream in place and we'll take her off that other cake card that we were resting her on or the cake board we were resting her on push her in place and then we're going to put that tail on in place now that she's on the cake board 
And you can just finish off the board with a nice bit of ribbon. And there she is finished. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you'll give her a go yourself. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.